Hello friends and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to give you a quick introduction of Microsoft Access 2016. So guys, why we use Access and what is Access? And Access is used to store a database. A database, what is a database? A database is a piece of information or a set of information. So why we use Access? We can use a different tool of Microsoft that is Excel. In Excel, we can record a database or we can store a database. All right. So what is the difference between these two? Now, uh, Excel, we can only enter a database and we can apply a particular format. But by using Access, when we store a database, we can generate many things like we can create a table, we can create a query, we can generate reports and we can create a form as well. Now, what is a table? A table is a data sheet view in which we enter all our records. All right. And what are reports? Basically, depending on these tables, we generate a report when we want to share a report with our client or with our immediate bosses. If they ask for a report, we can quickly create a report by with the help of few clicks and the report is ready right in front of you for sharing it with your boss or either with your client. We can also use forms. We can create forms for our database entry process. Let's say for an example, in Excel, we enter the database in a tabular format, but forms give you an access of entering a database in a very user interactive way so that the process of entering the database or the form entry will become much more easier and much more faster for the user who will be using it. Now in access, we can also create a relationship between two tables, right? In Excel, we cannot do that, but in access, we can create a relationship between two tables in such a way that while creating a report or generating a report, we can see the relationship between that two tables. All right. We will go ahead and explore some more, more new features and more new options that we have in our Access 2016 in our practical approach. Now, whenever I open this particular software, by default, this is the standard view what we get. All right. Now, if you go under the top of your screen, you can see the different tabs out here. Now, under the home tab, you can see most of all these uh, ribbons are not active. So in order to do that, I need to create something. I need to create an object. So we'll go to the create tab and under the create tab, you can see all these objects that we can create. We can create a table. We can create a query. We can create forms. We can generate reports we can also create a macros code now I'll start off with the very first basic that is creating a table so I simply selected the table a table has been created I will if in order to save this table I will right click and save this table and I'll give it a name let's take it this as sample table all right now out here in this particular table, I enter all the record. So this is where we store our database. Now, if you can see, if you go under the home tab, most of my groups are active. Now the very first group I have is the view group. If I click on this view group, I have this data sheet view and the design view. If you click on the design view, this is how the design view look like. We'll be talking about all these views in our upcoming videos. All right. So I'll get back to data sheet view now whenever i create a table a table tool will also pop up in which i'll be having a field tabs and a table tabs we will learn what are the, these different tabs do in our upcoming videos i will again go to the home tab again uh, you can see out here i can sort or filter a record i can save a particular record if i want to make any spelling errors or if I make any spelling errors, I can rectify those errors by using this particular button, which will help me to rectify the spelling mistake that we have done. All right. Also, I can give some text formatting the style of the records, what should be, whether it should be bold, italic, underline, and this is the formatting group. If you see uh, just above all my tabs, you, I have this quick access toolbar. Under this quick access toolbar, I can basically save a record, I can undo and redo, but these are the not only things that we we can add we can also add many other things if I click on this drop-down menu you can see all these things if you wish to add any of this you can simply click on it and it gets added automatically now we have covered our tabs we have covered our quick access toolbar just below it you can see this is the navigation pane if you have minimized it so that you can see the name this is known as a navigation pane under this navigation pane I will see all the objects objects like table 
queries, forms, reports, switchboard, and macros. So all the objects that are related to our access database can be seen out here. If you want to pull out any of this object, I will click simply click on the drop down and simply double click on it. I'll show you how it is done. So I'll first close this. And if I want to pull out this table, I'll simply double click on it. And here it goes. You have your table ready out here. Uh, you can have access to all your object under the navigation pane. Now, if you go on the bottom of your screen, you can see that I out here I have a na uh, navigation buttons which will help me to go to the first record, the previous record, next record, and the last record. Also, if you would like to search a specific record, I can simply type the name of that record and it will give you that uh, record right in front of you. All right, guys. So this is all about the overview of uh, or a quick tour of our access software. All right. So hopefully you guys like this video. See you until next time.